painted this black and I did this black. So I decided to do this and the lights so the fixtures black, black as well. Yeah. Just so everything can be all in one color, and I feel like this is just gonna change the whole picture here. Let's start taking this off. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna take it off so I can actually go outside and spray paint. Super simple, you just unscrew these guys and it comes off. Yeah, send it, tape it, or no, take this out and then spray paint. need to scuff it a little bit just to get rid of a little bit of that shine I just do it by hand with a 320 I really like bear that's my favorite brand and it also has primer in it which is great so before painting, I use rubbing alcohol and just wipe it down clean. They go over here and it's if it's going to be gold, it's just going to stand out so they all have to be black. I'm going to leave it for now and I'm going to go start another project. The trim piece on the top is really long, so we had to do two separate boards and we'll just do something in the middle to cover it up. So we cut it to length and right now I'm going to sand it. And we're not going for a perfect clean board and we're going to do an espresso stain, slightly stain it. Whoa, that's really black. Once it dries, I'm going to sand it down one more time because I'm trying to imitate the burnt wood look and after that I'm going to clear it. We decided to add on a red oak stain and this is how it turns out. We really like how it turned out. Yeah, that looks really cool. Oh, nice. 
nice. Yeah. We decided to put the light fixtures up versus down. Using a Q-tip, we stained every hole. I just really want to mention that tiny details add on so much, like this black. just helps the whole picture come together. I hope you found some inspiration from this video and it's very simple, it's not hard at all, anyone can do it. It only takes a few extra steps to make it look a hundred times better.